Well, welcome back to Photography by Harrison. And yesterday, I showed you part one of the F Panasonic FC1002 test. How well did it do on steels? And what I used for my subjects was my Ashbury High School class of 1969 graduation. That was part one. And today, we're going to continue showing you some more steels from my high school graduation in part two, because I just didn't want to overload you, all those old folks, in the first test. So this is part two of the Panasonic FC1000, how well it performs when you're taking steel pictures. And with that being said, I will see you on the other side.
Well, what do you think about the Jarvis? Leave the comments below. And also, while you're down there, hit the subscribe button. Also hit the notification button so you can get all my videos. And if you have any ideas where I can improve, leave those down there because I've said it before and I've said it a thousand times. No one knows it all when it comes to photography. And you know the rest of it. The more you learn about photography, the more you learn you didn't know. And as always, I want to thank you for coming along with me on this photographic journey. And I'll see you next time with another test of the Panasonic FC1002 shooting stills and video. It's going to be a combination, but we're going to see how well the image stabilization does handheld. And we're also going to show you what some of the stills look like handheld. So with that, I will see you next time.